Here are five things you're doing wrong at the driving range. The first thing is hitting too many golf balls. I've fallen victim to this a lot. A regular round of golf consists anywhere from 65 to 100 shots, depending on your skill level. If you're hitting more than 100 balls, anything over 100 is not going to help your game. When going to the range before a round of golf, if you hit more than 100 balls, it's equivalent of playing anywhere from 24 to 36 holes, right before you go play another 18. On days that I go to the range, I'll hit 6 balls with each club. That equals 84 shots, which is right in the middle of the 65 to 100 range. If I'm going to the range before a tournament or a round of golf, I'll hit even less than that. I'll grab the smallest bucket of balls the range sells and hit a couple balls with each of the main clubs that I'm going to hit just to get warmed up. Mistake number two, not going through a pre-shot routine. Just like every shot on the golf course, you have a pre-shot routine. You don't just walk up to the ball and hit it without aiming, breathing, taking practice swings, etc. This is eight. Now, you may be thinking that's going to take forever to do that for every single shot. But if you go back to rule number one, only hitting 100 balls, it's going to take the same amount of time as if you were hitting 150 shots to 200 shots. Simulating real shots on the golf course is going to be the best way to improve and be efficient at the range. Not only is a pre-shot routine important, but so is the after-shot routine. Think about the previous shot, analyze it, what went well, what went wrong, what could you improve on in the next swing, and then learn from it. One of the most important things to analyze after a shot is if the ball went where you were aiming. This leads into the third mistake, not picking a target to aim for. Every shot on the golf course, you're aiming at a point. You're never just hitting a ball with no intentions of where it's going or not looking somewhere and aligning your body first. Do the same thing on the range and align your shot and aim at a target the same way you would with every other golf shot. Every single range you go to has buckets, barrels, anything you can aim at. Even a tree works. If your golf course has nothing, just pick a tree that you're going to aim at and try and hit it towards that tree every single time. Another thing you can practice is having an alignment stick. You can either use a spare shaft if you have a broken club, or if you don't, you can also use a four iron or a five iron or any long iron. Using an alignment stick will help you align your body and aim correctly. A lot of times you may think you're aiming at a point when you're actually not and your body is kind of twisted or contorted in a different way. The alignment stick will help you stay aligned to the same target every single time. Another thing that goes along with this, don't pick the same target every single time. Change your target, do different yardages, different shot shapes, go left, right, center of the fairway, even pick two points and act as if the center of those is a fairway and see how many shots you can hit in the fairway. There's plenty of things you can do on the range to help you work on your aim and your accuracy. So that way when you transfer it to your golf game, you have really good aim and accuracy, which will help you lower your score and get closer to the pin. Going along with accuracy, that brings me up to mistake number four, focusing on distance rather than accuracy. We all know that guy that wants to hit his nine iron 200 yards and will try and hit every single club in his bag as hard as he can and just wail it as far as he can and it never ends up being a good shot. Don't be that guy. Focus on your accuracy and your distance control when you're on the range. Distance control is gonna be one of the biggest factors that'll help you get closer to the pin and lower your scores and ultimately become a better golfer. Like I said before, pick targets out on the range at different yardages, different lengths, different areas of the range. Pick targets that are gonna help you work on distance control. A really good thing to practice on the range is hitting the same yardage with multiple different clubs. This will help you work on distance and it'll teach you how to use multiple different clubs for multiple different scenarios. If you ever find yourself on the golf course in between clubs, you can either hit a hard eight or a soft seven. Using this drill, you'll be able to practice your distance control and learn how to hit multiple different clubs in different scenarios like this. Last but not least, the fifth mistake golfers make on the driving range is hitting an uneven amount of balls with each of their clubs. You may hear a lot of people saying, oh, my irons are good, but my driver sucks, or my driver's on, but I can't chip. My putting is on, but I can't get to the green. The best way to limit this is practicing an equal amount with each of your clubs. Hit the same set number of balls for each club, starting at the bottom with your wedges or your P wedge, whatever your lowest club is, and then working up to the driver. Pulling up to the range and pulling your driver out of the bag and trying to hit it 300 yards right off the start for a swing is terrible for your game. Not only is it bad for your game, but it's bad for your body. Doing things while you aren't warmed up is gonna change your swing and ultimately not make you hit the same kind of shots you'd be hitting if you were warm and are on the golf course. This is why you start with your lowest club in your bag, 
work up to the driver. That way, once you're at the driver, your body's warmed up, your swing is fluid, and you're getting the most out of your swing and your driver. When you're getting down to the end of your range session and you have a couple balls left, one thing I personally like to do is if I'm striping the driver and I hit a solid shot, but I have like two balls left, I'm leaving those balls in the bucket. Mentally, I always tell myself, if I hit a good shot with a couple balls left, I'm taking it and leaving. There's been too many times where I go to hit that last ball and right before I hit it, I think, hopefully this is a good one because it's my last ball and then I shank it. And then for the rest of the day until the next time I go hit a golf ball, that's the shot I remember. That being said, that's the five biggest mistakes golfers make on the driving range that are making their driving range sessions not efficient. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoy these kind of instructional videos, help videos, let us know and we'll see you in the next one.